Hello, hello. It is editing QZ here to uh, to usher you guys into part two of the uh, the snowy depths part of the new player guide. And so where we left off, I was sort of doing a little bit of wand editing. I was you know focused on really getting better spells and better wands because after playing snow uh, the coal pits the way that we did. We have a lot of gold, so we can play Snowy Depths a lot more carefully. We don't have to worry about gold, and we can get a bunch of uh, we can just get a bunch of stuff to improve our current build. And so this is what we're doing for uh, this part of the the guide. It would just be sort of a little bit of wand building, some tidbits of helpful information, and we'll uh, see where things go from there. All right, hope you enjoy. Okay, wow. You might have noticed that, um, Jesus Christ, that thing wasn't even, a like, there was no sight line. But you might have noticed that there was a wand that was flashing back there. Or there was, like, particles coming out of that wand, and all of a sudden it disappeared. That means an enemy probably picked up that wand. Right, like, yeah, see? This, this could have been a really dangerous one to get shot at with. Uh, I'm really glad I noticed. That is another reason why the uh, Snowy Depths is so dangerous. Is because the the location Wands spawn is usually very close to where he see enemies are. And he see enemies will pick up Wands and will use them to shoot you. This is a personal fireball thrower spell. It's actually pretty useful for killing a certain boss in the game. However, I'm going to try to avoid going to bosses for this main run. There is one boss that I would like to visit, but it's along the main path. I'm not going to go out of our way to do um, optional bosses because I want this to be kind of like a bare bones basic guide. So we're going to toss this now. I know some of the experienced players might be in slight pain seeing me do that, but bear with me, all right? This is for the new guys. You might be asking... Because I haven't really explicitly said it, but what what is the plan? What are we what are we doing here in Snowy Depths? It's gonna be basic, looking for wands, looking for spells, and looking for health. And so you don't have to worry about getting gold because we did that last uh, in the last area. The ones we find in the coal pits sometimes are even better than the ones uh, than some of the ones we find here. So we don't actually need to stay here very long. Plus, it's a dangerous place. This this biome is scary. You know, we're out here risking our lives. But oh, so there was a sniper right there. Hey, we have a damage plus. That's actually really nice. So I'm gonna go back and throw that onto our main wand. So this is why having uh, the holy mountain open is such crucial um i guess crucial step for making sure that you have like a really successful run because if you can edit your wants not only do you get powerful as you as you find better loot like immediately you don't have to wait to go to the next area to get more powerful you also have much better ways to manage your inventory and that's really really helpful uh, the Snowy Depths also has a lot of explosives that are just buried into the terrain. So be careful when you're digging inside the Snowy Depths because you might uh, you might run into an explosive that's just in the snow for some reason. We can peek what the wands are there in a moment. Hey, a heart! Again, spicy wand, even better than this one right here. Not really good spells, but I'll hang on to it. You can go back and edit. Now this is 550 mana recharge speed. We might even be able to rapid fire our digging spell for a very long time without running out of mana. Let's see. Yeah, so we now have our very first machine gun wand. What I did was put reduce recharge time. 
uh, and then long distance cast on a pollen. This has 10 mana drain, this has 12 mana drain, and this recharges 550 uh, mana speed. I'm not really sure what the speed rate is, but it's enough such that when we fire it once, our mana can keep up. So this is cool. We'll stick with the spark bolt. <laughs> let's, just, let's work with our spark bolt because I'm pretty sure we can uh, we can dig with this a little bit. So this is our new main one for now. Do a little bit of a uh, machine gun action. Again, we just broke another canister. We just broke another canister, so stay away from that freezing vapor. Uh, we have return. This is actually not too bad of a wand. Let's see what this one right here is, and then... Another freeze. What I'm gonna do is essentially just transfer over um, my build to this better wand, and I don't need triple spell. At least I can't fit a triple spell. We might be able to use energy sphere as well. Let's see how this looks. And we won't. Well, we can hang on to the pollen. Yep, and we can keep up with the mana. Hey, another heart. Oh, there was a canister right there. You see that? You see that? If I accidentally shot my teleport bolt into this canister, I could have broken it and I could have died on the spot. This thing was... Hiding behind a heart, ready to bait me. That's how scary those things are. I could have been a goner. 127 is not enough health. Well, actually, I have explosion immunity, so that's a little bit different. But if I did not have explosion immunity, I could have been a goner. Scary, scary stuff. Pick out this wand. Another canister. So I'm going to back up, and I'm going to try to detonate it. Right there. There we go. We got um double spell, maybe. You know what? I can pick up a double spell later. Oh hey, there's a there's the worm. So there's always at least one of these in every snowy depths biome. And the nice thing about worms is that there's a 50% chance when you defeat a worm that it will spawn a heart. So if I can maybe kick the corpse out of the way. And where the heart should be is going to be around its head, but it doesn't look like we got a heart drop, which is unfortunate. Do you see there? Even though I was doused in water, I still took a little bit of damage walking across the fire because there's oil. Uh, the oil and fire will also will damage me, so that's why it's always good to be careful with the uh, uh, with fire. Beyond blood, triple spell is a shuffle wand. Weakening curse electricity is nice. The wand's not good. The spells are, but I don't have anything that I can use the spells with for now, so I'll pass. But even though we know that the worm that got spawned is dead, there might be another one, so you should still be on your guard. For any worms that suddenly come running out of nowhere. Horizontal Path is an interesting spell because it uh, interesting modifier because it actually increases damage. So it increases damage by 8, which is, I think, more... Oh, uh, no, not more. Almost a damage plus. I might want that. So, you know what? I'm happy with the ones I'm currently using. Let's grab this and go to our Holy Mountain. I'm actually going to hang on to this for now. Oh, hey, another heart. Watch out for those explosives. 
And there's one more down here too. Two more. Nothing really good here. Dangerous teleport on my part. Let's reposition to a slightly better spot to shoot from. Careful, there's fire here. Gotta be careful going to a new area. So something happened here. What the heck? That's a scary looking wand. Something must have fired it. And this is not a really good wand, which is why I'm not. Earthquake shot. There we go. That explains it. 28 degrees spread. Energy orb with the timer. It's actually so energy orb is a really is a really good spell. Um, let me show you guys why in a bit. So let's get rid of these spells that we're not really interested in. So the energy orb with the timer is actually quite a good digging spell. Let me show you what I mean. It, it doesn't matter if it the, so the timer part doesn't really matter so much about the on the energy orb. It's more so that the energy orb and it's kind of hard to show with long distance cast. The energy orb will not damage me if I'm right up against it. Right, the explosion radius is not self harming, so I can fire and it will actually dig a lot of more terrain than pollen does so if you find an energy orb that's a really good thing wow qz what a very cool wand with energy orb Editing QZ right here is very impressed and curious about how you'll use it. Well, too bad the video's now over. Guess we'll have to wait until the next part. Anyways, hope uh, hope some of some of these tips were helpful, and that there was information in the video that up with that might help you with your run. And part three will be coming up soon so thank you very much for watching and see you soon good luck on the runs